Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to find the sum and average of n numbers of the array. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular place we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular place we will write console input output dot h header file. Now we will write wide main function curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the variables uh, now i'm going to write int data type array a of size 10 comma n i and then i'll use the variable sum is equated with value 0 next i'll write float average and put semicolon next we'll write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter how many elements using printf statement in double quotation mark we'll write how many elements so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now we are going to receive the response from user through keyboard using scanf function in a double quotation mark we'll write percentage d format specifier which indicates integer type of data End the double quotation mark put comma and we'll use this variable n here i'm going to write ampersand of n and put semicolon now we'll ask the user to enter the elements one by one using printf statement in a double quotation mark we'll write enter the elements backward slash n and the double quotation mark put semicolon next iterative statement we'll use for i is equal to zero i is less than n okay then i plus plus so using scanf statement we are going to receive each element at a time so here in a double quotation mark we'll write percentage d format specifier and then put comma here we'll write ampersand a of i and put semicolon so after receiving the elements we need to perform uh, addition and finding out the average so in order to perform addition we have to go through each element of the array for that again i have to use for loop for i is equal to zero i is less than n then i plus plus and here i'm going to write uh, sum is equal to sum plus a of i and here i'm going to put semicolon now i'm going to find out average here i'm going to write average is equal to average can be written inside of the bracket i'm going to write float and then I'm going to write sum because the value of the sum is stored in this variable sum divided by n and put semicolon next we have to print the value stored in both sum and average so using printf statement I'm going to write in a double quotation mark sum is equal to format specifier percentage d backward slash n end the double quotation mark put comma and the value stored in sum so that is variable name we have to write next printf statement i have to print the value stored in the variable average so printf in a double quotation mark i'll write average is equal to here average variable is of type float so that's the reason we have to use here format specifier percentage f and end the double quotation mark put comma and the value stored in this variable called average and put semicolon and here i'm going to write get ch function curly closing brace for main function now let us compile and run this program and check out how exactly it is going to produce the result so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user how many elements how many elements so for example i'm going to enter three and after entering 3 so n is equated with value 3 because of this scanf statement next printf enter the elements so it will ask the user to enter the elements so just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line through this iteration through this iteration so i is equal to 0 for the first time 0 is less than n value is 3 which is true then it is going to receive a of 0 for example i am going to enter 1 2 and 3 so for the first time i value is 0 so that is a of 0 is equated with value 1 
again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 1 is less than 3 condition is true once again the value of a of 1 a of 1 is equal to 2 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than 3 condition is true so it is going to receive the next value a of 2 is equated with value 3 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of the looping structure and then again it enters into the next looping structure to perform sum so this is a simple statement this particular statement will get executed repeatedly till this condition is satisfied for the first time i is equal to 0 and here we are going to perform sum is equal to sum for the first time it is 0 correct so 0 plus a of i a of i i value for the first time it is 0 so a of 0 consisting of what 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so 1 is equated to the variable sum correct again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 1 is less than 3 yes condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed so sum is equal to sum now sum value is 1 it is not 0 it is 1 now because it has changed right yes next plus a of 1 a of 1 consisting of what 2 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so 3 will be stored in the variable sum again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 correct so 2 is less than 3 condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed so here i'm going to write sum is equal to sum is now it is 3 again it has changed its value plus a of 2 a of 2 consisting of what 3 so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 so 6 will be stored in the variable sum again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails this particular statement will not get executed the control transfers to the next statement so it is going to calculate average correct only once so it is going to calculate average is equal to here you can see we have written float data type inside of the bracket it is called explicit type conversion correct so we have studied implicit and explicit type conversion so when we want to convert one type of data into another type of data it is called type conversion or we also call it as type casting here sum is of type integer correct integer so we want to convert this one into float type that's the reason we have written inside of the bracket float so it is called type conversion and divided by n n is the number of elements right so uh, sum is what now the final value of sum is 6 and the number of uh, elements here we have entered 3 elements that is n value is 3 so it has to be divided by 3 so 6 ones are 6 twos are so it is going to store uh, 2.000000 because it is floating type of data next it is going to print sum is equal to sum is equal to percentage d associated with sum so what is the value stored in sum sum consisting of 6 so it is going to print sum is equal to 6 and then it is going to print average so average will come down just because of this backward slash n okay that brings the cursor down to the next line so floating point type of format specifier and it is going to print the value stored in average so average is holding what 2.2.000000 now let us compile and run this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time now let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user how many elements for example i'm going to enter three and then i'll press enter now it is asking the user to enter the elements i'm going to enter one two and three and i'm going to press enter here you can see it is displaying sum is equal to six and average is equal to 2.000000. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.